Everybody wants to get united. Like, what we got to do is meet everybody in home 49th Street at the bench. Hey guys, welcome back to the bench. Today we're talking about five ways graffiti artists like to get up. If you'd excuse me, I'd like to go ahead and kind of bypass the obvious ones such as markers, spray paint, and stickers. These ones are pretty common and common enough to where just about anybody is going to know and understand how these work. However, if you'd like more information about these, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and I can certainly do videos on those as well. So let's get started with number one, fire extinguishers. Or anything similar, there's a lot of different ways to get this kind of effect. You don't need to use a fire extinguisher, they have other products that, you know, expel paint in a very similar fashion, though it might be on a smaller scale. An explosive output of paint that allows graffiti artists to cover a massive amount of space extremely easily. Clean cut is not the name of the game when you're doing this. Right here, you're looking at just pure chaos and getting up. Getting your name on a wall, covering as much space as possible. Now, people's first inclination when they start doing this is to rock a hand style, and that's perfectly fine. You could certainly do that, but you can also rock throwies with this. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. You usually don't see it too often just due to how messy the lines can be with this, but if you're able to pull it off, hey, that's another route you can go. So moving on to the next one, we have rollers and big blockbuster pieces. Now, this is one of those ones that's extremely common and one that you might already know about, but I felt like it's worth mentioning because sometimes you see blockbuster pieces in the most obscure spots. So the versatility with these, just based on the reach that you have, really makes these a standout way to get up. Sure, depending on the spot you're getting to, there's a lot of prep work involved. Sure, you gotta carry, you know, a bucket of paint, potentially a ladder, and various other tools, once again, depending on the spot that you want to get up at, but this is bound to leave an impression. Your name is definitely going to stand out when doing something like this. Also, with these, they can be really, really fast to do. Obviously, once again, I got to throw it out there depending on the spot that you want to get to. Before we get into the next one, if you're brand new to graffiti and you're trying to learn this art form, pick up our brand new book. It's the only book in the market that covers all of graffiti's fundamentals. You won't find any of that information anywhere else. Once again, I got a link to it in the description down below for you, and your support with that book supports the show. Another method of getting up is scratchies. Depending on where you're from, you might actually refer to these as something different, but I know them as scratchies and essentially you have a tool such as this, which is just a metal tip pen if you will, or you can even use a rock, pretty much any hard object, and you can scratch your name into a surface. Very improvised, very sloppy in a lot of cases, because you have to literally scratch it in sometimes depending on the surface you're on, but it still gets the job done. As a fun number four, I don't know what this thing is called. You'll have to forgive me on that one, but it's like a pole similar to, to a paint roll. However, at the top, there's some kind of adapter that will hold a spray can and it'll press the spray can top. Now, I know we said we weren't going to do spray paint on this list, but I feel like with the adapter and the stick, it changes things up just enough in order to warrant being on this list. It allows you to do the same hand styles that you would do higher up to places you wouldn't be able to reach otherwise. I personally have never used this one, but I do think it is useful and pretty cool. And obscure number one, I only saw this one or two times, all right? I don't think this is practical. It certainly isn't common, and that is drones. There's no changing it. As technology progresses, drones are going to become more and more commonplace, more and more affordable, and better for carrying different kinds of things. And people have already found a way to attach a spray can to the thing and have it spray, which I don't know how all that works. I could barely turn on my computer, let alone get a drone and get that thing to function with a spray can. But in all honesty, give it 20, 30 years, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of graffiti artists are doing drone tags. It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. I hope that doesn't end up becoming the case, but it wouldn't surprise me. That's all I got for you guys today. If you have any other tricks of the trade or any other ways of getting up that you want to share, leave it in the comments down below, especially if it's a weird one. Now, for those of you guys who are new here, we're all about helping graffiti artists and teaching graffiti artists the fundamentals of this beautiful art form. And if you want to learn those, we got our brand new book in the description down below that teaches you all the fundamentals, but we also have the best how to do graffiti playlist anywhere online right up here with more graffiti content right down here. With that said, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys back here next week. And once again, thank you for watching.